انه هل هنالك بعض العناصر الموسيقيه اللي موجوده بالموسيقى العراقيه والعربيه والعود ما كنت تعرفها بالموسيقى في خلفيتك الموسيقيه السابقه؟ If I was going to say just about the instrument, the oud, maybe I'll start there. Um, it's been a complete change from when I played the piano, say, because I wasn't a string player. I'd never played the guitar or anything like that. So coming to an instrument like this, I mean, when I first got it, my mum bought it for my, for my birthday, I think it was, and she said, oh, it'll look nice on the wall, you know. I didn't know how to play it. It was all out of tune. Mm. And um, then I gave it to you. You're my teacher. <laughs> and... Um, you just made it make sense. But trying to find where your fingers go on the, on the board and things like that, having to learn where the notes are instead of pressing a key and getting a note mm. is a completely new challenge as a player. Um, and I think what I've discovered is about expressing yourself. I feel you can, you can recognize maybe the, the emotion of the voice better with, with the bandos and the vibrato. <coughs> and for me, more with it than maybe a piano, even though so many people say a piano is mm. history, you know, and so many composers use pianos for that reason. Huge seems to have a special quality. Excellent. Can we listen for sure? Uh, yeah. Whatever you prefer. Yeah. Yeah. متى استمعت الى آلة العود والموسيقى العربية في المرة الأولى؟ hmm. Well the first time I can pinpoint it very precisely the hmm. first time I heard Arabic music and surprisingly perhaps given there's so much going on in London and in this country it wasn't here it was when I was on holiday hmm. I went to Egypt when I was about 14 or 15 and I can remember it was one day very specifically we landed in Haggadah airport hmm. and we had to travel through to El Khazir. It was very late at night, everyone was very tired. We were on a minibus and the roof was piled high with everybody's mm. luggage. And um, we drove along this road alongside the, the Red Sea. You could see the moon reflected in the sea. Mm. The radio, the driver had Arabic string music, um, or maybe it was a tape or something like that. Mm. And it was just basically experience listening. And then when I got to the boat, uh, which was our aim to get to the mm. <laughs> we were going to stay on a boat for a week. Mm. Um, the, the cat was so hot downstairs, mm. we had to go upstairs to sleep. So mm. nice breeze, and I, I'm laying there on top of this boat in El Khazir, and uh, trying to sleep. Mm. And then all of a sudden, this voice out of nowhere, and I was like, "What on earth is that?" You know, it woke me up startled. It was a little surprising. I didn't know anything what it was. And then I look at the mainland, and everybody's running around, you know, nervously, mm. and trying to go somewhere. And of course, called prayer, mm. and I didn't. I heard anything like that before. I know it's not 
for music, but for me, the sound of that was so powerful, and so mm. the industry was beautiful, mm. and it really went on, and I mean, for the rest of the whole, I was listening to, to mm. the music, and uh, yeah, that day is in my mind. كم من الساعات تتمرن يومية يعني كتمرينك وشون يكون تمرينك؟ Well, um, I've only been playing for a year and a half about that now. Um, so practice-wise, it, it, it's studying, doing my master. Maybe it was an hour or two hours that I could manage a day in between going to the library, reading, writing essays and stuff like that. Um, but now I'm concentrating more four, five hours a day is the aim. And It goes so quickly. <laughs> you have so many exercises to do and, and things. Uh, but yeah, definitely, you need it. الصعوبات التي تواجهها كانت يعني عملك في الموسيقى الشرق والموسيقى العراقية تحديدا. Obvious answer that stares in the face is just quarter. There's nothing like music. I'd never come across before. Initially, when you listen to it, it does sound out of tune to Western mm. ears, and, and it doesn't take long. You just have the beauty of it. Mm. Um, but as I'm playing them, to develop the ear, I'm still not there. I'm doing it a year and a half now. I know it's going to take years to get to that standard. And, and learning all the calms as well. Because in Western music, maybe we have major modes, uh, and that's it. Mm. Um, So while you can do lots of different things, maybe you can do conic or octatonic, um, they're very small, really, uh, in, in the repertoire. It's generally minor. And so Arabic music, there's thousands or it's thousands of modes mm -hmm. and possibilities. And to lodge those in your brain and how they connect and how you move from one to the next is, yeah, that's probably the main challenge I've faced so far. Mm -hmm. We'll see. <laughs> In the future, absolutely. I'd love to go. The history, the future, um, just from what I've seen. And the music as well that I've heard and I've been introduced to. There's so many traditions I understand that I've just come into contact with. And I'd love, I'd love to meet the people. And uh, really, with, when it comes to my PhD, I want to focus on Iraqi musics and Iraqi traditions. Um, just because it, it center of music and learning that hasn't been documented so much, I don't think, in, in Western print. So mm. you, you look right. at a bookshelf and maybe music is there, Egyptian right. music is there. Right, yeah. So, yeah, I'd love to go. We, we need to, to listen to some music again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> شكرا لك جوليان هارس على هذه المصاحبة الجميلة ونتمنى أنه تحصل على الدكتورة قريبا وتستمر في أهدافك من أجل العود والموسيقى العربية والعراقية تحديدا شكرا لك شكرا جزيلا شكرا شكرا